cerca spesso di sfondare per vie centrali come adesso con Higuain che trova la sponda poi Insigne un gol incredibile da parte di Insigne e il Napoli è subito in vantaggio 16 sul cronometro e gli azzurri si portano sull'1-0 grazie alla rete What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new Team of the Season play review and it's one that I was really looking forward to because Lorenzo Insigne is a player that I enjoy so so much on FIFA this year and I was just so hyped up for this Team of the Season call but if you do enjoy this video lads make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it if you can get yourself a 30 likes that would be amazing and don't forget as well if you are new to the channel to subscribe but um, getting into his basic information he's standing at 5 foot 4 inches tall he's got 4 star skill moves obviously had an upgrade in the uh, skill moves department earlier in the year he's got a three star weak foot and he's got medium medium work rates and his price bands are between 31k and 600k currently going actually for a very reasonable in my opinion 270k very reasonable looking at those stats indeed but uh looking at those base card and in-game stats he's a 90 overall he's got 95 pace 96 dribbling 88 shooting 83 passing uh, 93 passing sorry uh, 60 physical and 46 defending and his top five in games are pretty damn impressive he's got 99 acceleration 99 agility 99 balance 98 curve 98 stamina and he's also got the finesse shot flare speed dribbler speedster dribbler a distance shooter crosser free kick specialist and acrobat traits and specialities uh, if you haven't seen my team of the season alexandra lacazette play review it's the exact same team that we use for that with uh, of course in sydney on the left hand side and lacazette up top and in the five games that we played with this team lacazette came away, uh, sorry, Insigne came away even with three goals and four assists. Not the most amazing return, but bear in mind that I was doing Lacazette at the same time as well. But um, as we start to get into the clips now, like I said at the start, this is a play review that I was really looking forward to doing because I absolutely love uh, Insigne's special cards this year. Since he's had the skill upgrades, it's just got even better and better. But um, I'm going to say it straight away. Although this card is absolutely fantastic, don't let this make you think that the card's not good. I don't think there's much of a jump in ability, in my opinion, from his most recent in form, from I think it's an 83 in form, maybe an 84, to this card. I don't think there feels that much difference in it. And that's not saying that this card's bad, like I say, because that in form feels absolutely fantastic. And I think part of the problem is his weaknesses are exactly the same weaknesses that he's got in his in form. He's still very weak, and although his acceleration is absolutely blinding, his sprint speed sometimes lets him down because he pulls away from people instantly, but then gets caught up quite a lot, which is exactly the same as what it is with his inform but his positives his dribbling is phenomenal as is his agility his passing is also fantastic and he is a very very weavy player a very fun card to use overall actually we're going to be giving him a 9 out of 10 like I say it's a fantastic fantastic card but in my opinion it's not worth paying the extra money to go from his most recent inform to this team of the season so I don't think they're too far apart they're both incredible incredible cards but if it was me I'd cut your losses and just go for the cheap one he'd like I say that that's my opinion but um if you did enjoy this player real lads make sure to leave a big thumbs up in it like i mentioned hope you did enjoy uh sorry this has been a bit of a shorter one but i did have to share the clips obviously between lacazette and insignia for this player review but um like i said at the start i hope you did enjoy it if you did leave a thumbs up on it and i will speak to you all in tomorrow's video lads have a fantastic night nidge out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.